And we have help yeah. with Lights, Camera, McCarthy. Yeah, very yeah. excited. There's a brand new movie opening up on December 22nd. It has Jeffrey Wright, who you obviously know is uh -huh. very tied well to the D.C. Yes. area. He's actually going to be in our studio this week, uh, so make sure you stay tuned wow. for that. We'll give you more details when we have everything completed. Um, but there's a new movie called American Fiction, and basically the cast is incredible. Uh, also, Sterling K. Brown oh is in, in the movie as well. Come and the on. basic premise of the film, I think we have some of the trailer if we don't, uh, but basically uh, Jeffrey Wright is an author. Uh, and in this world where he's an author, he is very frustrated with the way black stories are told in the media. And as an author, he's constantly pushed back by publishers saying that essentially your book is not black enough or you're not or you need to write this type of story or that type of story. And he runs into like Issa Rae's character who's written a book that seems to be dialing into that. But he feels like it's offensive in a way or like it belittling in a way. Um, so I spoke to both Sterling K. Brown as well as Jeffrey Wright all about that, how it made them look back on their own lives and their own careers and the perspective of the stories that they've told uh, in Hollywood over the years and uh, and more. So here's Sterling K. Brown as well as Jeffrey Wright. Mm. I'm Kevin McCarthy from Washington, D.C. Uh, Jeffrey, good to see you as always. Sterling, always a pleasure to talk yeah, to you. The other Kevin Sterling. McCarthy, as, well, it, Kev. as it were. Yeah, the better get, side of the Kevin old... McCarthy's of Washington, D.C. <laughs> I, I get all of his hate tweets, man. You can see my Twitter. Just... <laughs> oh, boy. Monk, your books are good, but they're not popular. Editors, they want a black book. They have a black book. I'm black, and it's my book. You know what I mean. Look at what they publish. Look at what they expect us to write. I just want to rub their noses in it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, throughout the film, you talk a lot about your frustration with black stories in the media. And it got me thinking about your careers and the, and the years that you've been in this business. And I was wondering what perspective this film and this story gave you on your own lives as actors and the roles that maybe you were offered along the way. Be this way, be that way. You should take this type of role. I'm just curious if that if it gave you perspective on your own careers and your own lives. There are times in which the, the industry Industry attempts to put you into boxes because they, their imagination hadn't evolved to the place where they could just see you as a human being. And I don't even know if that was conscious or unconscious. Or as a great actor. Way. You know, or as a, as a great actor. On a personal level, too. Like, I'm the youngest brother in my family, and I am middle-aged. I've been married for 20 years or whatnot, and I'm nowhere close to making sort of cliff-style decisions. But I know people who have gone through divorces or whatnot and feel somewhat adrift as they're redefining what their life is right now, having to rethink the past 40 some odd years and be like, all right, I have to try something new because what I've done thus far has not been effective. You know, for me, what um, I was more attuned to in this, um, with this character in this film, than the satire social commentary and that was the personal side of it. So mm -hmm. what I reflected on more so was less about my career. Um, you know, sure, there have been, you know, challenges, there have been limitations attempted to be uh, imposed and things like that. Mm -hmm. But really what drew me in was the pers this, this man's personal journey. It wasn't the external stuff, you know, his, the ways in which he was perceived, but the ways in which he um, was forced to uh, take on responsibility for family, particularly uh, as caretaker to she who was his caretaker. Those are the things that res resonated with me much more deeply than the other. And that's what I was drawn to because uh, I think I knew that version of the story too well. And I think, too, that <clears throat> that, um, that side of, of this film and this portrait of this family is in some ways, although we don't try to answer questions, in some ways it is a response to those references, to the yeah. tropes and the stereotypes. And I think in, in that way, it's, it's, it's very subtly done. I think it's the most subversive aspect of the film. I say congratulations to you both. I wish I had more time to talk to you guys. I had so many questions written down from this film. Thank you for making this film. It was a beautifully profound film and sterling that moment about you telling them about the father not never meeting you fully. It was yeah. just unbelievably incredible and profound. So congratulations to both of you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Thank Kevin. you, K-Mac. Appreciate you, bro. Good to see you, man.
All right, Jeffrey. Okay, that's Jeffrey Wright and Sterling K. Brown. And uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, 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 the Jeffrey Wright character basically ends up writing a book that goes against everything he feels about who he is, and the book becomes a bestseller, which oh. is the irony of the movie because he's been told his entire yeah. career that his books aren't quote unquote black, black enough. enough. Yeah. yeah, it's really fascinating. You want to say something real quick? Yeah, though? I just think it's brilliant and a really good topic because that is yeah. a topic in the African American yeah. community: what's black, what's too black, and mm -hmm. what isn't black enough. So. Yeah. I'll be watching the movie. Sure. Incredible actors. So yeah. Yeah. December 22nd, American Fiction, one of the best films of the year. You'll be seeing that at the Oscars. Okay. For sure. Mac. Oh, hey, Mac. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that. First name K. Brown gave me a nickname. I was like, yes. K. Brown, K. Mac. We like it. <laughs>